what's up everyone kind of weird time to make a video i'm heading in to go to work this you know i i slept through most of the i think the president had a speech at six o'clock i slept through all of that because i gotta be at work now it's all late and shit man as i speak now the dow is down 400 points and i think the news broke that not too long ago that someone in Northern California has this virus. I'm to put this up here. Someone in Northern California has this virus and uh, they don't, <laughs> of unknown origin, means this dude never went to Wuhan, China, or anywhere as far as, you know, when they say unknown. So he got it just up, you know, doing his everyday shit off the street. If he got it off the street, who gave it to him? So you see what I'm saying? It's out there. And this is what, this is why the CDC prepared us uh, a couple of days ago, just yesterday even, that, oh, you know, it's coming, lives are going to change because they already knew about it. And you see how they just slowly spoon feeding us so we don't panic. It, it, I don't know. I don't like when they do that. That's why I'm saying you got to like read between the lines, you know, because it's out there and who else knows? So this guy's got it. How long has he been running around? Remember, because you're contagious even in the incubation period. So how many people did he give it to? And then so forth and so forth. So, you know, uh, Trump's speech is like, oh, don't worry, we're, you know, we're better. We're gonna, we got it under control still. No, you don't. How? <laughs> you know, I mean, when people can spread it without, uh, you know, with, with, without having symptoms. I mean, how you, 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 this is something that just, Nature has got to take its course in for the most part. There's, you only can control it when there's symptoms. You know, you can decide what to do with those people. But if there's no symptoms, how could you can really control it? I mean, what can you really do? Uh, I mean, we're not a third world country. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that. Uh, well, I, I, never mind. I ain't even <laughs> Stepping into a arena, I don't even. I'm not even familiar with. But shit. So anyway, why am I making this video? Yesterday I lost, man, about a thousand bucks. Um, Plain futures, man. I gotta stay away from that market. And the reason why I get sucked in is because I can make I make money. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, and I think I can snowball it. It was weird that the VIX stayed at 29 all day for the most part, and the market was all over the place. And I was trying to catch one of them big rips, and. Um, I think I caught one rip, but for the most part, it was just gyrating sideways. The VIX was at 29 and steady for the most part. That's unusual. Um, it's That's a signal. If it don't, I always say something don't go down, it's going to go up. If something don't want to go down, right? If it doesn't want to fall, like gravity, it's going to go up. Um, I'm a little concerned with putting a, a put position on because, you know, the, with the volatility this high, it could go both ways, which I don't think it is yet. But, you know, it, like say it's down 400 points now. I guarantee you in the morning, we're going to be looking down. Shoot, we might even be limit down, down 800, down something significant. And the Fed or the other countries, this liquidity is going to start coming into this market. The Fed might just do an emergency cut, you know, um, to stop the panic, but that pop that we get from that cut or any kind of added liquidity or whatever, that's, that's a sell. You sell on that because it's only going to get worse. Only thing I think that's going to help is, you know, they say, you know, for the most part, if it's like flu, we don't really get the flu when it's kind of warm out. It kind of goes away. I don't know why it just does. Maybe because it's, it can't incubate or something. I don't know. But um, we're getting closer to the warmer season, so maybe maybe that helps. You know, we're coming out of the flu season. Um, but you know, by then, who knows? And then, okay, let's say we're out. And this is something I'm concerned with too. Excuse me. When when it comes down, when when we get to September, October, November, it could blow up out of serious proportions. You know, just like the flu does, right? Next thing you know, like, boom, you know, all of these states have it, countries. 
And now what? You know, because let's say it does just go away on its own, which they're hoping. Who's saying they ain't going to come back? What, is it going to just go away and just be done? The flu ain't. <laughs> and then it might be a, even a deadlier version, or, or, you know, because the flu kind of changes its little, you know, little pieces of it. So it could be a, a, even a worse version of it. So it's a lot of unknowns. And, uh, you know, you see Trump giving his speech tonight, looking kind of scared. <laughs> Just not typical Trump, like, we got this. You know, he's, I hate when the dude reads, you know, but he's, he can't even read. You know, he just, you know, he's basically, he's got this speech that most likely somebody else wrote for him. And he's just reading. He's just going through the routine. I, I thought it was a little uh, neat. Well, not... It was a little... It was... You know, I watched that debate in uh, South Carolina. And one of them guys said, uh, Man, first thing I would do is address the nation. Because, you know, stocks are crashing and, you know, things are going on. And Trump ain't even say nothing to nobody. And when he don't say, when he don't speak, <laughs> I always think something's wrong. Because the dude loves to speak. He ain't speaking, he ain't tweeting, you know, so I guess they got him out there today. But anyway, so just be prepared. You know, I really think, I don't know, man, it just seems like a scary environment. I don't, I always said, all right, they kind of putting it out there that this is the flu, the flu already killed in a speech, the flu killed 360,000 people this year. Then why, if y'all comparing it to the flu, why is everybody worried? Why y'all quarantine? You don't quarantine the flu that killed 360,000 people. Why are you worried about this one? So I think there's something there that they're not telling us, right? So we just gotta, that's what I'm saying, read between the lines. Um, he sound like one of the 15 people that originally got it. He's like, he's sick. He's very, very sick. So it sound like that guy might pass away. So anyway, the... the you know, the guy that got it right now of unknown origin, he's in Northern California. I didn't catch the city. You know, and I don't know. You know, we'll see. But I think it only gets worse before it gets better. What's going to make it better? Well, stock-wise is liquidity and interest rate. Because, yeah, the 10 years at 1.301, I think. That's, that's, like, unbelievable. You know, so the Fed's going to be forced to cut. Because the short-term rates of, you know, it, 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 they're inverting hard. So um, that's why this this cut's going to come soon. President's probably going to be down his throat. Look, man, I need an urgent. You know, Trump's word. If this vi virus blows up, you know, this is going to mess up his election, re-election bid, um, especially with recession. Remember, they always told us that the, re the reason why we're blowing up is because the only thing holding on to the uh, economy is the... Um, the people, right? The spending. We're spending. The consumer. The consumer is the majority for our um, our growth. That's what's going on right now. So, but <laughs> the consumer can shut off on a dime, especially if we're going to start to be afraid to go out, especially uh, afraid to congregate, movie theaters, you know, uh, transportation, stores, all of that, you know. So, of course, the, the consumer is going to shut down. As long as more as we get educated about the virus, now that it's here, and of unknown origin, you know, we're, we're bound to shut down. We are bound to stop doing things that we would normally do. Like, why go to the theater and turn on Netflix? You know, that's, the, that's why Netflix stopped, because it's kind of ripping right now. You know, why do this Peloton? <laughs> it's ripping, you know, because I ain't going to the gym no more. I'm going to get me one of them Peloton bikes. Zoom video, you know, because teleconferencing, you know, so all of these things that you could do at home is kind of ripping and everything else. Oh, Microsoft so announced, hey, we don't, we don't know what earnings is going to be, you know, so that's another company that the bulletproof company, they don't know, they don't know what earnings is going to be. Apple did it already. Every, let me tell you something, every company is going to do it. And then that's even more down with pressure on the market. Now we don't even know what the hell they're gonna do. And it makes sense. But why companies need to come out and, companies should come out and say it because it's, it's, it's really a free pass. It, it, nobody knows how it's gonna affect their company. 
You don't even know what the virus is gonna do. Uh, so it's, you know, it's probably wise to come out and just come out now. Hey, you know, we don't know. We don't know what earnings is gonna be like. So, um, yeah, that's my prediction right now. If you're watching this video in the middle of the night, like I said, Dow's down 400. Uh, S, the, uh, the futures and I'm predicting it's going to be down like 8 it's going to be something ugly tomorrow's going to be an ugly day I think once this news starts to spread because now it's and this is what what makes me mad is because this is what I've been waiting I want to say I've been waiting for why I was pulled out of the market the whole time remember if you watch my videos I'm out I got nothing in the, I'm out I'm out of 401k but I had recently added back in thinking because I was noticing AMD down 20%, Amazon was down 10%, things were already down 10% from its high, even though the S&P was down just like 8, right, so you had a lot of stocks that already made that 10% move, but I don't think it's going to be a 10% move, now I think it's going to be a 20% move, so I'm a little disappointed because I got in just a little early trying to catch a falling knife, and I was out all the time being smart, but I kind of get back in at the wrong time, so I'm like, oh man, I should have just stayed out. Because the market, the way it was ripping, it had no concern over the coronavirus. None! I mean, you was hearing the cases just exploding overseas, and the market would just rip 300 points. Remember, Apple kind of came out and was like, uh, we don't know. We don't know what our earnings are going to be. Okay, so the next day it was, down, it was down five points that day. And then the next day it was at an all time high. It's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> It's like so. It was it was so much irrational. I guess exuberance. The old uh, uh, Alan Greenspan word. It's, it's just been crazy, you know. So that made me think. Okay, the market's not worried about this virus. I don't know why, but they are worried about the virus. I don't know what was going on back then. So anyway, I'm gonna um, let's go ahead and end it. But I don't like the way things are uh, are going now. It's probably a lot of other YouTubers going to be making videos like this. Uh, you're going to, it's just going to be more in the news now. Now that it's here, then that makes people scared, pull in. Yeah, life is probably going to be different. If it's, if they treat this virus like they have been doing it overseas, quarantine cruise boats and whole cities and spraying it down with fog, what are they going to do here? You know, we're a community that has to go out. You know, we're not like one of them countries. We have to you know, we're the world, we're the number one economy. You know, so if we go, oh man, it's just like I'm saying, if we go down, the bonds is telling you everything you need to know. Remember I was saying gold's ripping, remember I was telling you one of these things is wrong. Well, and I said bonds is mostly right. Well, bonds is proven right and stocks are proven way wrong, way wrong. So, um, all right, I'm gonna end this video. Let's see what happens tomorrow. I didn't make a video today, I was kind of busy. You know, Deborah's kind of sick and I was helping out, I was like, oh. People in the hospital wearing a mask, and, <laughs> and it's not even here. But anyway, man, the uh, the government, you know, they're kind of lying. They're not telling us. They're behind the curve, and they don't want to scare anybody. It's understandable, but if it's serious like they think it is, they probably probably need to scare some people, <laughs> so we could be informed, man. But just read between the lines and you'll see everything. You'll learn everything you need to know. All right, thanks for watching. This is Dre. Dre trades on Twitter, Instagram. This is Dre on YouTube. Peace.